Mother Eve created. As the creation of Adam was at the close of the sixth day, the creation of Mother Eve is indicated as having been accomplished in the beginning of the seventh day. However we view the matter, the first pair were created approximately in the beginning of the seventh day or epoch, which is now nearly completed. Mother Eve was merely a portion of Adam, separated from him for a special purpose, for the propagation of a race. Adam possessed originally in his own person the qualities masculine and feminine, which subsequently were divided between him and his wife when she was taken from his side. Adam for a time was alone in Eden, finding no congenial companionship in the beast and the bird. Mother Eve was his mate, bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh. Their very difference of quality and disposition made them the more companionable to each other because each found in the other the desired complement. They twain were one. Neither one was complete without the other. The feminine qualities of Adam's perfection he still possessed in Mother Eve. Adam was the father of the race and failed to give it life. Jesus is to become its second father, the second Adam, through whom everlasting life may be attained. Eve was associated with Adam in the sin and disobedience which brought the penalty. So the elect church, the bride of Christ, when completed, glorified, will be his joint heir in his kingdom and his associate in the regeneration of the world during his messianic reign. Another suggestion has been offered. Jesus declared that those who attain to that resurrection will neither marry nor be given in marriage. As Adam originally possessed all the qualities of character, masculine and feminine, so humanity, when fully restored to the image and likeness of God, will reattain perfection of individuality. Sex divisions will then be no more. Earth will be filled with sufficient population.